Okay, so Mez and I just finished recording, um, I don't know, a half hour of... Exploratory surgery on the yes. new VR-80 semi-auto shotgun. We replaced the uh, factory fixed stock with a collapsible stock. Right. So we thought um, we would do a too long, didn't watch video. We'll do it as quickly as we can, two minutes or less. So this is what we've ended up with. We started with my intact VR80. Um, there are just two screws that you need to remove to take this off. There's this screw here, and then there is the grip screw right here. This plate comes off, and then you can access the actual grip screw and whatever buffer tube screw. It's a buffer tube here. screw. Okay, so this comes apart pretty easily. What we found out was that we could not put on the Magpul UBR, is that what it is? Yes, called? UBR. The UBR. Um, it's not going to fit, but this, this is a Magpul. No, that's this, MFT. This MFT. Mission First Tactical. Works beautifully. Um, that just slipped right on. And then we also found that this Magpul MOE, um, which I shamelessly stole off of Jay's AR. Shh, don't tell him. Um, fits kind of funky. There's this gap right here. Um, I messaged, I messaged intense image on, um, Instagram. His first name is Brian. He is a three gunner who is currently using the VR 80 and he's been really, really helpful to me, um, when it comes to this. So I messaged him about that and he said, it looks odd, but it works. Um, my problem is that I can't quite reach the trigger with it. So I will end up changing this out for an A2. Maybe yeah, the standard, uh, the standard A2. mill spec A2. So a little bit skinnier. Yes, because my little child hands don't, don't fit very well. Anyway, that is our too long, didn't watch, two minutes or less video of the customization of my VR80. Have a great afternoon.